Jesus Christ, Netherrealm! Can you just stop for like five seconds? Or at least get some better security on your staff? Because these leaks are sinking the ship, I gotta tell you guys. So, this is some more D MK11 DC news, if you haven't guessed already. And this time around, we are going to be talking about some news that came uh, about a day or so ago. And this just br was brought to my attention by my uh, friend, uh, my uh, brother on here on the channel, C Dubs. And I'm going to talk about it here with you guys. Now, before we go any further, I would like to state that this has not been official. Like, of course, this is nothing officially confirmed. We all have to take this with a big grain of salt. But on the other hand, you know, all these rumors and leaks and what have you, or quote-unquote rumors and what have you, have been, of like, 99% been confirmed. And, yeah, after the last leak, who knows with the DLC characters. But this time around, this one, you really have to go, hmm, what's gonna happen here? Anywho, let's get into it. So, we have now un uh, discovered that there will be not just the first uh, few char nine characters we will have for DLC. If you guys remember, in the previous video I talked about how it was uh, quote-unquote leaked that it was going to be Joker, Shiva, Nightwolf, Fujin, of course we knew about Shang Tsung, um, Terminator, Sindel, Spawn, and uh, Ash, Ash Williams from Evil Dead. So, we all thought that would be it, right? No, 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 no. There's going to be a total of 19 DLC characters. 19 DLC characters uh, in Mortal Com for Mortal Kombat 11. Holy shit. Like, seriously, holy shit. Now, again, this is, you know, nothing has been... This is, was from a, a forum on Reddit. So, again, you really gotta take this with a grain of salt when it comes to stuff on the internet. But again, on the other hand, you know, you gotta take this with some credibility because all the leaks we've seen so far have been, uh, really, really, um, <laughs> they've just been really, really, um, true. They've just been true 24%, like, all of them, like, 99% of them have been true. So, again... Now, what's interesting to note is that you're probably thinking, well, Zilla, don't keep us in suspense. What are the characters? You see, that's the problem. Nobody, uh, from what I understand, nobody knows. Nobody knows what the other characters are. If this is true, we don't know who the other DLC characters are. Are they all MK characters? Are they all guest characters? We don't know. That's the thing, and that's what really kind of made me go, hmm. That's what really made me go... I don't know if this is true, because 19 characters, I wouldn't put it past them to do this if they're if NetherRealm Studios, because they said they wanted years of content for this. They really wanted, like, a lot of, like, playability for MK11. They really wanted that for uh, this game. They really wanted it to have that for the longevity, at least until Injustice 3 eventually comes out, which, what, 20, in the 2020s? But I digress. So, the other major thing you have to look at is that in this uh, game, in this, you know, in this game, it does look like we do have some a major playability, whether with new gear variations or, you know, new environmental content. It's really, it's really up to, um, it's really up to debate here. But 19 characters, and the, again, like I said, None of the characters were uh, were announced, but let's kind of just stop and think of like what that could be. You know, what what characters could you get in this game? You know, let's for the sake of argument, let's say it's going to be like the same number as uh, the first group, the first nine. So let's talk about that real quick. Of what characters could we see? Let's start off with MK. Rain, a lot of people have wanted Rain back for a while. Um, I think that's a, po a strong possibility, if this is true, that Rain could be one of them. Um, another could be... Uh, another could be... I'm trying to... Like, I had one in my head, but maybe Reptile? Yeah, definitely Reptile could come back as a DLC. I mean, it feels kind of weird not to have Reptile in an MK game. I know that's a weird thing to say, because I know a lot of people are like, love-hate with Reptile, but... 
the thing is, is that it just felt weird not to have Reptile in a game where we've had him for a lot of the games we've had so far. Like, that was the thing, is that um, it just felt weird not to have Reptile in the game. He just felt like a character you just expect on the roster, on the main roster. So, Reptile could be DLC. We know he's still alive. Um, according to the Crypt, we do see him skulking around in there. Ferator is another safe bet. Um, Ferator, like I said, another safe bet. I think another one, and this is, a, I think Melina definitely would be Melina. Would definitely, if this is true, then Melina would more than likely be on that roster for all the Melina fans who got cheated in a MKX. Uh, so yeah, Melina definitely is another strong possibility. I think that um, some other ones, some other ones like some would not be suspected for would be like maybe, and this is gonna sound really weird. But what if we had Kano's son in here? Now, remember, in MKX, it is revealed that Kano d did have a son uh, in MKX that he tortured. So it could be that this is his, t you know, his this DLC is him coming into the game. So that'd be, you know, I think that'd be pretty cool. Maybe that's how they bring him in. Or maybe it's new original characters. We don't know. Now, for guest characters, it's wide open. It is wide open for guest characters. Because, again, if it's true with, jo you know, with Joker and Spawn... It's a, you know, it's a safe bet that anything can go, you know. I just did a video talking about the, you know, my top five characters for the DC universe I could see in MK as guest characters. Um, go, you can guys can go check out, check out that video previously. Um, and yeah, maybe we could get Batman Who Laughs, or Deathstroke, or Black Manta, or Doomsday, or something. If, again, if that Joker thing is true, then maybe we could get another DC villain. Horror characters, maybe we could finally get Michael and Pennywise. Again, going by that, if that list is true, you know, it kind of sucked that, you know, I love Ash, don't get me wrong. One of my favorite movie characters ever. But, you know, I really wanted Michael and Pennywise because it just seemed like a logical option. But maybe with this, we could finally get it with um, Michael and Pennywise in the game. Another character would be, kind of, you know, just kind of spitballing maybe the Creeper from Jeepers Creepers or, you know, uh... Uh, the Candyman would be another good one. Would that be another good one? Uh, the Jin from Wishmaster. The, the possibilities are endless. After seeing that DLC roster uh, for this game, the first one that got leaked, the possibilities are freaking endless, guys. I gotta be straight with you. The, the, the possibilities are just endless of what could happen with this game. So, this is a really really interesting, but at the same time, you gotta feel bad. You really gotta feel bad for, uh, Mortal Com for the guys at NetherRealm Studios. You guys, wow. You have dropped the ball since day one with, um, hiding stuff. If this is true. You have really just dropped the ball on how, you know, how you've been handling this game. It's just been one, you know, one colossal leak after another, and this was like another torpedo in the hull for them. You just really gotta feel bad for them. I mean, it's cool for us, but at the same time, it's like, god damn. Like, what happened, guys? Like, where was your security on this? Where was all of your security for this game? Because it feels like it was non-existent. It really does. So, yeah, while I am excited that, you know, the possibility that we could be getting, like, so many characters for this game, at the same time, I feel bad for these people, because I feel like some people are going to lose their jobs over this. This is, like, job-ending, this is job-ending for some people. So, that's a, t you know, that's going to be a, t this is going to be really rough for Nether NetherRealm Studios, and hopefully they can get their shit together for Injustice 3 whenever that comes out, and for MK12, um, whenever that, the future of that game, uh, occurs. So, yeah, this is, um, at one point it's exciting, but at the same time, like all, like all leaks, e even though we've been getting a lot of, you know, truth out of these, uh, quote-unquote leaks, we, and rumors and what have you, We've been getting a lot of truth out of them, and but at, least at the same time, you still got to take them with a grain of salt. So you know, keep that in mind that we have you really have to take this all with some form of of uh, clarity, and you know, don't get too excited because this could all be bullshit. Because remember, Ed Boon is the king of BS. Remember that. Um, 
So you gotta remember that. And at the sa also at the same time, you can't help but feel bad, because this is people's livelihood. Guys, this is, this is really people's livelihood that we're looking at here, so... That is a tough one. You know, this is a... It, you feel excited, but at the same time, you gotta feel bad for these guys, too. Um, anyway, so you guys tell us here at Comic Universe, what do you guys think of the possibility of 19 DLC characters in the Mortal Kombat roster, in the Mortal Kombat 11 roster? Who do you think could be those characters? What MK characters? And what guest characters do you want to see in here? You know, the possibilities are pretty endless. There's a strong possibility for so many characters to be in this game. Um, but again, at the same time, you really have to take it with a grain of salt, all, uh, you know, with all of this. So, you know, just comment below, let us know here on um, Comic Universe. I'm DPZ, and as always, if you're new here, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you right here once more in the universe.